Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Night Owl Lacquer. I'll get you, my pretty. I'm going to stamp on it. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. And here is Night Owl Lacquer's I'll Get You, My Pretty. And it's a thermal. <laughs> I'm starting off with one beautiful smooth coat of this Night Owl Lacquer polish. I love it. I just, it's... I knew when I got this collection and swatched them, I knew that this was going to be one of the first ones I had to wear. I know it's not a summer polish, <laughs> but with thermals, that's what's lovely about them. They, summer just makes a thermal polish a summer polish in my book. There's Woody. Got to help me clean up. So there's the first coat. Here we go with our second coat. And I'm doing rather thin coats. I don't like having real thick coats on my nails. So, you know, sometimes I have to go in for that third one just because of the way I apply polish. I love this color. It's insanely beautiful. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Can I come out and help mom again? So, I'm capping the tip on this third coat. I'm capping it before I do the third coat just because I want it to be a smooth transition. I don't want it being bumpy on the end. It's a little trick I do sometimes. <laughs> I love this dark, funky green with all this shimmer in it. It's it's just, it's, it's a showstopper for me. I promise you. It's gorgeous. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and seal it down. And then I'm going to wear it for a day before I stamp on it. <laughs> Aren't you guys, guys glad you don't have to wait like I did? Actually, I really did enjoy wearing it all on its own. Um, I do like to do that sometimes with my polishes when I can. I'm trying to get that tip capped. The free edge. So I'm going to be using You Are Beautiful plate number 19. I used this in the other manicure for I Am Groot. I'll be using the Nicole Diary and SO2, the black stamping polish, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And I'm going to use this little circle image on some nails. And look, you can see that it's transitioned. It's light green and dark green. So, love, love this. So, I'm putting that image on my thumb and my ring finger. Here we go with the thumb. And then I'm going to do another image that matches this one on the other nails. And I just was really, really in love with this one. Palette cleanser, I don't know. I just needed something different, and this was definitely different. So I like this image that it matches up with the other one, but it's just the one strip of the circles and diamonds. And I'm just trying to line that up down the center of the nail. I'm not real good at that centering thing, but um, you know we're gonna we, we try. I think I've gotten better over time, but they're still not perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up some of that excess image with my tape and go in for another nail. That one got a little wonky, but it's all good because this nail polish. I am cleaning that plate with pure acetone um, in between. There we go. Got a lot more to clean up on this one. Got a little sloppy. Sloppy girl. And there we go. Got a little crazy with that one too. And I got lucky I was able to mush that back down to the nail. Um, it was trying to pop up. And I don't know what my problem was, why I didn't use the tape on this. I, I must have been having one of them days. Oh, there we go. We did get the tape. Maybe I was scared I was going to pull up too much of the image on that circle. I'm going to be using that Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. I am kind of addicted to this stuff now. I love that it doesn't smear. I mean, I've tried it with all kinds of different polishes, and so far I've had wonderful luck with it. Haha. -ha. But then we're going to top it with some Posh Top Coat and totally seal it in, and it will 
be complete. I really, really had fun with this one. Um, it was just uh, so much fun playing with that thermal. I just, it's so much fun. So there you go. But I would love to hear what you think about this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Now for some playtime with the cold and the hot water. That's the cold. And here we go with the, I, I'm not going to call it really hot, but the warmer water. There we go. Get a little bit of half and half here. Love it. Too much fun. I just enjoy this stuff so much. Now we're going to try to do some tips, but you know, the way that cup's shaped, I have trouble. So there we go. You can see a little bit of it. <laughs> anyway, fun stuff. And that's it. So I've got some swatch photos of it cold and warm and in between. I hope you enjoy this one. I'm calling this one half and half. And then we've got warm. But I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.